Energy costs reaching multi-year highs, leaving consumers to pay the price. The skyrocketing prices impacting heating bills and prices at the pump, as yep. you know. Yep, Jeff Barka uh, from our sister network, Fox Business, our favorite sister, joins us live from Glenside, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Jeff. Brian, uh, Ainsley, Steve, good morning to you. You know, a lot of people in the administration think that the sun is the future of our energy needs. But unfortunately, the sun is not shining this morning. And as you report, the cost for what we use today for energy is through the roof. Let's start with the gas prices. We're here in the uh, Philadelphia suburbs. Uh, what's it say back there? 353. That's a little more than the national average. Take a look at the numbers. 341 today, up a penny from yesterday, up a nickel from last week, up uh, a dime from last month, and up a dollar from last year. Underpinning that, of course, oil prices. Uh, just uh, two months ago, we were at $65 a barrel. Today, we are at $88 a barrel and climbing on concerns about Ukraine as well as demand and not enough supply. Similar situation with Nat gas. In the short term, that's gone up real high. Uh, Janice reported about the cold weather. Uh, it's measured in, measured in a million British thermal units. And if you look at those numbers, up 55 percent in the last two months. No matter how you cut it, whether we drive our cars or heat our homes, we're paying more and not spending money on anything else, apparently.